Hello, this is David Birch at Star Pass School of Navigation with a note on a small correction to wind speed we measure, uh, excuse me, to boat speed that we measure on a knot meter. It's a small effect. You can usually totally ignore it, but when you're doing optimum routing computations, all of these effects matter, and this uh, boat speed enters into the wind speed calculation. Uh, so you want we want to have those as accurate as possible. And so uh, what I'm doing here is I've written this up so that I uh, so it's easier to follow, and that's in our navigation blog, and I'll put that link to that in the uh, in the instructions. And so we have here, uh, and this topic is brought up. Here's our new book. I'll show you our new book. We have Modern Marine Weather, third edition. It just came out, and in that we cover routing. Uh, no, that's not what I want. Um, we cover, I want the table of contents. We cover routing, and, uh, and then in routing we have to deal with true wind computations very, very carefully. So this is a table of contents. So we cover it in this section, optimum weather, optimum sailboat routing. And in particular down here, there's several factors that we go over in the nuances of true wind computations. And I'll be adding videos on these various topics. This is just one of them. So that's a reference, and then this reference will have this, this exact article. So here is a uh, knot meter uh, assembly or fitting, and this is a paddle wheel that spins around, and then this is the through hull right here, and uh, this whole thing has got an over, this whole section pulls out. You turn this and pull it out, and so you can change the paddle wheel or clean it so forth but this paddle wheel spins as a boat goes through the water and then each of these uh, each of these elements here has a little magnet in it and as a magnet swings by a, a circuit a closed circuit or well a loop of wire then that magnet sends a magnetic pulse through the wire and then there's uh, electromagnetic laws that are changing uh, Changing electri electric field makes magnetic field, and a changing magnetic field makes an electric field. So every time this uh, magnet goes by this loop, it makes a pulse, a little electric, very small electric pulse, which then gets amplified. So the number of the rate that these pulses are going by is a measure of your speed, and then the integration or the sum of all those pulses then is a measure of your log, your uh, odometer miles through the water. So that's the way they work and so forth. But you see this axis is r fixed and so the water's pushing against this uh, pushing against this side here. And so here's a picture and the boat goes through the water pushes it like that. So and then so we're assuming leeway. Some now we're going to have some leeway. And if you want to figure leeway uh, you can actually measure it and then after you measure it a few times you can figure this k uh, some constant 9 to 13 or so value. And then you can numerically uh, determine your he leeway from the heel angle, which is easy to measure. You can measure that with your cell phone. But, and then the uh, total leeway you, that you estimate from K times a heel in, in degrees uh, divided by the boat, boat speed squared, knots. Uh, so then, so okay, so here's the... Here's a picture we care about, and we have to keep in mind, so when the, boat, when the boat's going that way, it's slipping that way, and so this is the actual force that's on the, the force of the water pushing on this paddle wheel is this component here. That's the boat speed, and that's what it's going to report on the knot meter, but your actual speed through the water is this component over here, you see, which is a little bit bigger. And then if you just do the, the trig trigonometry, yeah, I guess it is of that, you get that the speed through the water is a boat speed divided by the cosine of the leeway. And that's, that's the end of the theory. Now, whether or not that's exactly right, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's, a, it's in the right direction. And almost all uh, wind instruments that have heel sensors in them make that uh, correction. And uh, those that don't, then they leave it up to the navigator in the routing program uh, where, you're, where you're computing the true wind, uh, you make that correction. And here's just a, a sample. I just put that formula here in a spreadsheet. So you see if you're going six knots and you're heeled over, I mean you're slipping 10 degrees, then this is 6.09. So these are not big effects, but you see they are uh, their numbers. 
and uh, they will. And small changes here when you're solving for true wind, it's a vector. We'll have to show this later with some pictures. They're vectors, and so you you do a vector triangle, and you have one of the angles, one of the legs wrong a little bit. You can end up with a wrong result. So here then is a way. This is just one program. You can view this in other any navigation program that calculates this effect. This is OpenCPN program, a free navigation program, and uh, with a plugin called Tactics, and this is a Tactics display, and it actually says corrects. Here's what that means. Correct speed through the water with leeway. And there's no correction. And then you see, OK, th let me clarify. These two outputs here, these two panels, they are outputs from the Tactics plugin. You don't see these unless you install this Tactics plugin. This is the normal dashboard that you see from its stock, comes with OpenCPN stock. So this is the cog sog. Here's your boat speed, 6.0 knots. There's no correction, 6.0 knots. And in fact, we're slipping 10 degrees. Uh, that's 10 degrees leeway. And uh, then now we go down and we go into that same tactics. We turn on the correction. Turn on the correction. Here is six. See, this guy doesn't know about it at all. He's reading still six. But the tactics program, we told it to take this uh, to make that correction. And so it changes to 6.09. So if you ever wondered in life, where does that 6.09 come from? Uh, you know, when you've got a 10 degrees of leeway. So that comes from this right here, 6.09. OK, so that's that. So that's all I want to show with this video. Um, the other thing I might mention, and you can just play with that, this is I'm sitting here in the office doing this. So what am I? You know, I got a boat speed and cog and sog and current and wind and everything else. That's coming from uh, we faked, uh, we faked, simulated those NEMA signals. And we have an article here in the blog is how to how to fake those NEMA signals using another plugin from OpenCPN. So that's a kind of a trick just to to simulate NEMA stream of signals so you can you can test various things. And this is that article here that tells you how to do it. I don't have a video on this yet, but you'll see it's kind of straightforward, but it is non-standard. Non-standard. This plugin was not made to do that. Uh, but it, but here this article shows you can do it. So that's the end of that. You can go get the uh, the main uh, the main tips on this small point here in this in this article. That's the end.